Hey everybody, happy Tuesday and welcome to my channel. It is time for Tuesday tryouts. If you guys want to see which products I try out today and what I think about them, then stay tuned. Don't make us who we are. So I'll dream until I make it real and all the sea is Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, hi, my name is Lynn, and this is Lynn's Wonderful World of Makeup and More. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you chose to click on this video. I really hope you enjoy this, and you will consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming part of our family. When you do, make sure you turn on your notification bell and set it to all. That way you get notified each and every time I upload some new content, because I do upload often. We have a lot of fun over here. I do a variety of things like unboxings, tutorials, get ready with me, try-ons, first impressions, collabs, empties, hauls, pretty much anything that has to do with makeup and fun. I also have a couple of weekly series I do. My show supports Sunday with my creator of the week, my Thank You Thursday, my Monday morning mass, and of course, today, my Tuesday tryouts. Uh... So today, I am going to be telling you guys about a couple of different uh, uh, products that I tried out. If you guys watched my video earlier this week, you've already seen me uh, wear this eyeshadow palette. And I know most of the time, I usually try them out uh, on Tuesday for the first time. But there is a reason why uh, I wore them earlier, these products uh, earlier this week, and I'm doing them again today. <laughs> Uh, I am trying out the uh, Laura Mercier Blurring Canvas Primer and her new Tinted Moisturizer. It's oil-free and it has SPF 20 in them. I got these in a Vox box last week. I'm also going to try out or be using the Natasha Denona Ayana Palette, the Illuminati Lip Gloss, and the Kinder Glow Highlighter Palette. I got all of them in boxes earlier last week. So, the reason why I did it again is because, for one, I wanted to be able to tell you guys how well they performed. And for two, I wanted to try uh, my eyeshadow palette with both of the eye primers that I usually use. Uh, for those of you that follow me, you guys know that this has been my go-to primer, the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I absolutely love that stuff. But like I said, I got this Laura Mercier uh, Blurring Pure Canvas Primer and the tinted moisturizer in a box box. Um, the reason why I tried them out uh, before I actually did this video, I've worn this twice so far, is because um, when I went on Influencer and I was reading everybody's reviews of these products, some of them were saying that uh, after they had worn this primer uh, throughout the day that they were seeing... Um, like white powdery patches in their makeup and I wanted to be able to tell you guys if that happened to me when I used it as well it didn't I think this is one of the most amazing primers I have ever used um, I have fine lines underneath of my eyes uh, and around my mouth and this really really helped um, you guys know I usually like to do full coverage. I'm going to start putting this on while we're talking, while I'm talking. Um, you guys know I usually like to go full coverage, but that is mainly uh, in the in the winter time. Um, in the summertime, I do like to have lighter coverage um, because I get hot really, really fast, and I don't want to have heavy makeup on my face. And have it sweating off. So a lot of times in the summertime, I will use different products than I use during the winter. Um, and like I said, this does already have an SPF in it. Um, now, it does give light coverage, which of course it's supposed to. It's just a tinted moisturizer. Um, I wore it, I wore it um, just by itself. And I also wore it with uh, my Charlotte Tilbury, um, what is it, the Flawless Filter uh, Foundation, because that is also light coverage to me. Um, I think I need to turn my lighting down a little bit. I look really, really bright. Okay, there we go. Um, so if I was going out, I would, especially if I was doing a makeup look, I would probably uh, 
put the foundation over top of it. That's just my preference. But if I was having a day where I was using a really light makeup or um, I was going for a more natural look, this is really nice to wear by itself. Uh, the combination of the primer and the tinted moisturizer is amazing. I have, excuse me guys, I have also used uh, the primer underneath of two of my uh, other foundations to see how well it worked not using it in combination with her tinted moisturizer. This primer is absolutely amazing. Uh, I think it did very well at uh, blurring out the fine lines around my eyes that I have a fit about and especially around my mouth. That's what really, really bothers me is the fine lines that I have around my mouth. My eyes I can deal with. You guys have to excuse me if you hear, if <coughs> I cough or sniff a little bit. I have a, a upper respiratory infection at the moment and my doctor gave me one of those uh, medications that make you cough so that I can get the stuff up out of my chest and uh, it's obviously doing its job so like I said um, I, I like if I'm going out which I am going to be in a little bit even though it's fr uh, Tuesday afternoon I pretty much uh, rested today. Um, I have to go. I always have to go out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, and since I really wasn't feeling well, and I was absolutely exhausted for some reason, uh, I pretty much spent the day resting. And yes, yes, yes. <laughs> For those of you that are new at following me, I do not use a blending sponge for my foundations or the products that I put on my face. I like to use my hands. I have tried several different sponges. I just don't like them. It's just not something that I prefer. I need to put you guys on pause for a minute because I realize that I don't have something sitting here. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go grab my eyebrow pencil. And while I paused it, I went ahead and put on my concealer, my powder, and my... Uh, I used my eyebrow pencil uh, for my concealer. I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Concealer in the shade Fair. I like this one in the summertime. You guys know uh, in the wintertime, I really have been... Uh, loving my Laura Geller, the Baked Radiance Cream Concealer. But like I said, this is full coverage. So when I use full coverage, I like to use this concealer. When I'm doing my light coverage, I like to use the my Urban Decay uh, Naked Skin or the Natasha Denona Concealer that I got from my bestie Denisha uh, at Christmas time. And for my powder, I used the Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder. And for my eyebrows, I used the Bella Pierre Eyebrow Pencil that I have. Um, now, when I used this palette, I tried it with the Natasha, I mean, excuse me, Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. You guys know that this that those two are my go-to eye primers that I use. I love them both. This one is more of a flesh-toned one and the Anastasia Beverly Hills one is lighter which when I'm using doing a really colorful look uh, it helps make the colors brighter and pop out more but since this is a neutral more dark toned palette I'm just going ahead gonna go ahead and use the Urban Decay one so this is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette I got this in my boxy charm it is very very pretty but it is very very neutral um, I know I had originally said that I probably was not going to use it, but I couldn't resist. I had to try it out, and I'm happy I did 
because I really, really have been enjoying it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take this shade right there and that's what I am going to put in my crease for my transition. Uh, I am using my Shana B Miami cre eye crease brush that I got the, in the five piece set. Uh, I believe it came in one of my glam bag pluses that I got this month. I have absolutely been loving this set. I can honestly say that every brush in the set I have been using and I like them all. I don't, I can't think of very many full sets of brushes that I use every single one of them or the majority of them. But every Shana B Miami brush that I have got, whether it has been by itself or in a set, I have absolutely loved. And then I'm going to take the the darker shade right there and that's what I am going to put in the outer V of my eye for that one I'm using my Luxie and you guys I obviously I can't I can't really see I think it says 207 brush I don't uh, go by well I kinda do that's a lie I don't necessarily go by what it says the brushes are specifically for um, some brushes I just use them where I find them to work the best for me I think a lot of people do that may not necessarily use the brush for what it says it is for I know I have a few uh, contouring brushes that I like to um, use for my highlighters. I'm going to take my brush right here and just pull that up a little bit. Now, this dark color right here, I had, I did find that I have to go in very, very lightly and blend it. and see kind of build it up to where I want it to be because I made the mistake the first day of going in like I normally would and just putting it on and pulling it over and it ended up being way way too dark I had to take it off and start over again and that's fine on a day that I'm just playing with makeup but when I'm trying to get ready to go somewhere, I really don't want to have to wash all my makeup off and start over again. So, like I said, I'm going for a kind of, even though it's a dark eyeshadow palette, I'm kind of going for a soft look because it's kind of warm outside today and I don't feel like going out there and feeling like I have a pound of makeup sweating off of my face. I'm also going to be taking that same that same dark shade and putting it underneath of my eye. Now I'm going to use two different brushes to do this also. Uh, I use a really, really thin brush when I'm putting on my under eye just because of my hands, the control that I have. Um, a smaller brush gives me more stability and I can place it where I want it to be without having to worry about it coming out too thick and then I just take 
a larger brush and kind of smudge it out to give it the softer look. The softer look is not the right word. Uh, to make it look more even and blended in, I just generally take a little brush like this and go back and forth just to get it softened up. And I gotta pause you guys one more time. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this silver color right here and that is what I am going to put right inside on the lid I am going to pause and put on my mascara and my eyeliner and we will be right back to see how this highlighter palette and the lip gloss works so see you in a minute okay guys so I'm back um I just used my Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eyeliner gel pencil in the shade zero I used the Pat McGrath labs uh, fetish eyes and I also applied my lipstick while I was off camera I used the Pat McGrath labs divine nude uh, lip lipstick liquid lipstick uh, because I'm going to be using the lip gloss and this is the highlighter palette I am trying this is the kinder glow <laughs> highlighter palette I am so excited I have gotten quite a few uh, <clears throat> really good highlighter palettes lately and that's awesome because it's summertime um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this white one right here I also do my highlighter with my finger at first to get it placed where I want it to be and as you guys can see this is a really really pretty highlighter I have used three of the four shades in here I used it every the, the when I tried the other when I was using the eyeshadow palette I used this highlighter palette with it it's all been in the past week that I use these but like I said I told you guys because I wanted to be able to tell you how it wore instead of just after I read what people were writing especially about the uh, the two Laura Mercier the primer and the tinted moisturizer I wanted to be able to give you guys a really good reading on those and I'm also going to take that highlighter and use the, I use that in the inner corner and I am also putting it underneath of my brow bone I think this uh, this highlighter right here the white one well it's um, like a mix it has a little bit of brown brown or gold specks in it I've never seen a highlighter like that but I think it complements this eyeshadow palette very very well um, I do want to brighten it up a little bit more and then I generally just take this brush and blend it out And this is the lip gloss that I am trying. This is the Illuminati uh, Liquid Luxe 
Liquid Lux Lip Gloss. That is a mouthful. In the shade Secret. This is so very, very pretty. Like I said, I already put on the Pat McGrath Labs uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Divine Nude. Anybody that knows me knows that I am fanatic about my lip products, especially my lip glosses. I do not hardly ever, very seldom, will you see me put my lip gloss straight on to the lipstick because if any of the lipstick gets on to the applicator, for the lip gloss, it can change the color of your gloss. And I ruined a couple of my lip glosses doing that <clears throat> before I knew any better. So even though this can take a little bit more time, I think it makes my lip glosses last longer. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. Um, I do not have the... Oh, yes, I do. I was looking for the blush palette that I wanted. I love this. This is my Profusion brush and Blush and Bronzer palette that I got. Um, I found this at Marshalls. I do believe it was. Uh, it has so many different combinations that you can use to get what you want and I am going to take a little bit of the light pink and the brown and just put it into place I don't use bronzer like to contour but sometimes I will add a little bit of it to my blush if I don't want to have a really if I want to tone down my blush a little bit like I do today because of the eye palette and then of course if I can find it there we go I want to just blend my highlighter and my blush together just a little bit so that I don't have a line on my face kind of defining where my highlighter stops and my blush starts um, so this is the completed look. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I am so sorry. So this is the completed look that I came up with. Uh, like I said, um, I used the Laura Mercier Blurring Pure Canvas Primer and the Tinted Oil-Free Moisturizer with F FPS 20. I have tried this primer underneath of the Tinted Moisturizer. I also tried it underneath of... Um, my Laura Geller Cover Lock Foundation, and I used it in combination with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation, and I used just the primer and the Flawless Filter Foundation, and this primer has made everything last a whole lot longer. Uh, this eyeshadow palette, I think, is absolutely amazing. The colors are blendable, soft, and buttery, just like you would expect from a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. I was not happy when I got it. If you guys saw me unbox it, not that I was sad because it's a Natasha Nona palette. It's just not the colors that I have been working with. But I kind of like the way this turned out. Uh, the highlighter palette, like I said, it is the Kinder Glow highlighter palette. And I should have never shut it back all the way. Sorry. I used I have you I have used that one that one and that one that one's a little too dark for me and I have liked them all this uh, lip gloss I have tried over top of that shade I also used it over top of the of two of the glam light colors that I got and I used it by itself 
it has come out beautiful all three ways, all four ways, excuse me. Um, so this is my completed look. Drop down in the box below and tell me what you think. Did any of you guys get the Natasha Denona Ayana palette? Have you tried it? What do you think about it? Um, what do you think about the look I created? Do you guys like it better when I do it like this, where I actually try the product out a few days before I do it again on camera so I can give you guys a better impression rather than just, oh, it looks pretty on my face right now. Do you guys like it that better than when I can tell you guys how it actually wears for the day rather than just tell you guys what it feels like for the first time putting it on? Let me know all this down below in the comment box. I'm not trying to keep babbling because I'm already at 25 minutes. And if you guys have stayed there, here this long, you are absolutely amazing. Like I said, if you are new here, please smash that subscribe button. Become part of our family. Make sure you turn on that notification bell. For those of you that have stayed here this long, you guys are absolutely amazing. I love you all so, so, so much. Um, if everybody could please go over and rate this video. If you could give me a thumbs up when you like it when I do the Tuesday, Tuesday tryout series. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. Like I said, it helps YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my content. It also helps me get moved up in the algorithm so that I can get pushed out to people that may, that may not have necessarily had access to my channel yet or knowledge of my channel. Um, I love you guys so, so much. That's all I have for you guys. I will leave down in the description box all the products that I use today. Like I said, I know I switched up and used a lot of ones that you guys aren't used to seeing me use even the ones that I used that I wasn't trying for the first time um that's all I have for you guys so uh, next, until next time stay beautiful and stay blessed if nobody else told you I'm going to tell you you are loved and you are special love and hugs and I'll see you in the next one bye